Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today I'm working on the diamond stitch. I'm using Lynn Hasita one millimeter cord. It comes on a big spool like this and I'm using it this time because it's a little thicker than my regular waxed linen. Um, it has some texture so I kind of debated but I think it might be nice for this diamond stitch. So what I've done is do a row regular swirling basic stitch. I'm almost to the end, um, so I'll show you a couple stitches here. I turn it over and I go in on the left side of my stitch, go in on the left and come out in the front on the right. And I'm Doing my, so my darning needle is straight up and down so my rows will go out flat. I'm making a wall hanging and I want it to be flat. So I pull that tight. Okay, I go in on the left. And I come out on the right. And I can pull it tight. So now I'm going to start the back stitch row part of it. What I do is I turn it over and I want to make sure I go in on the right side of the next stitch. I'm going in on the right and coming out on the left. Coming out on the left. And what that does is it locks my threads in place. You can see I've made an X across. Same hole, but my thread is slightly to the right. My thread is slightly to the right. I come out in the front in the same hole, but slightly to the left. And I don't want to split that thread. I'm going to be in that same hole. Right there. And pull it tight. And you can see the X pattern developing. I'm going to work all the way around and then I'll show you the next part of the diamond. Okay, I'm going to take my stitch. I go in the same hole where that last stitch came out, go into that same hole, turn it over and come out in the same hole where that thread was, come out right there, <clears throat> pull it through, and pull it tight. Do this, this next one. I go in. Now I'm on this row below. I'm on that black stitch. I come out here in front. my pliers, pull it out. So I'm ready to start my next row. I'm just going to go over the top, go through the X right there, go through that X, come out in the front, and start stitching my next forward row. So I go over the top. I go through under the X threads, under the X threads, come out in the front. And there I've started my next forward row. 
what I'll do is work all the way around again, and then I'll do another back stitch row. I have worked all the way around with my forward row. I have just a couple more stitches that I need to do, and then I'll start my back stitch row. So I'm going to show that. What I do is I go under the two threads that are in the X. I go under those two threads Pull it tight. I go under those two threads like that. Pull it out and pull it tight. And that finishes my forward row. Now I'm going to turn around and go back. start making the diamonds. Okay, so I go into that X, right where my other thread was, right where my thread was coming out. I come out in the front, right in the same spot. And I pull it very tight. I go over the top, I go in that same spot where that other thread was, where my stitch came out, I go slightly to the right of that thread. I come out in front, slightly to the left, pull it up and pull it tight. So you can see my diamonds starting to form here. I'm creating more X's, more X's for my next row. I'll do one more stitch. I go over the top. I go in slightly to the right in that same spot where those, where those came out, where my forward stitch came out come out and pull it tight. There are the diamonds developing. <clears throat> this stitch really uh, reveals itself as you do more rows. So I have one here that I did a while ago that has several rows, several rows of diamond stitch. And you can see how how you can see the diamond clearly there where it has developed. This was five rows worth. There you can see it on the back. You can see the diamond pattern. It's a very pretty stitch. It is a, a little time consuming, but it's worth the effort. So I hope you enjoy using this stitch and will come back and see me again soon. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Linda. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just click the subscribe button and ring the bell. Then you'll be notified next time I post a new video. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks.